So that's pretty much all the pilot holes. And these, each one of these will go on here. This one goes here. The tall ones will go here. And then we have ones for each side. They just kind of go along. So we'll show you what it looks like when we got all these stakes up. Right. So here it is with the with just one screw in each panel. I know this one over here is crooked. It's it's not totally set. So Chad's going to explain. So this is kind of the mock-up. And again, these would normally, we'd put these all the way to the roof maybe, but we're going to have a shelf in here. Um, it's going to be the literature container. I don't know exactly how we'll do that yet. We'll just kind of play it by ear. But right here, we'll have a board going across. We're going to make this to tie in, same as on the other side. And the distance from here, once we get this all finished off, this will be our hinges for our lower side. And the lower side will fold down just so where it clears the fender. And I think that's probably where we'll have, you know, literature uh, shelves inside of that. You'd have to clean them out before you did, before you put it, folded it back up, obviously. But uh, that's the idea, maybe something like that. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be a couple chairs in there. You could sit down. You know, I don't know if I'll build the benches in or if I'll make something separate. Or I mean, obviously you'll be able to sit on the seat, which is what will come out from here. Uh, this will go across to just meet in. I don't know if I'll cut a board to support it or not. I don't know that we need it, except for maybe to tie it in. This will fold down. It'll have a split. It'll be scrolled along with the, the scroll that we'll have unrolled right here. And it'll fold down. And then this one will come up. And I don't know how we'll tie them together. Maybe we'll just have a couple of hook eyelids that just bungee to, the, to each other. I don't know what we'll do there. We'll have to see if we can come up with something more fancy or if that's all. So what's the next thing we're doing uh, right now? Build these braces, those braces, and get the seat braces in. The seat okay. braces will tie this all together, too. Yeah. And the floor? Are we sticking that down today, too? You know, we can probably stick a lot of the floor in. It it's got to all be notched in between each one of these. Right. No, in between each one of these. It Doesn't it come all the way out to here? Yes, but it'll be on top of this. Well, that's what I mean. It's oh. got to be notched around these these ones that go up, right? Yeah, around these. Yeah. Not this. Right. Okay. You are correct. Okay, that's that. So we've got quite a bit of this put together. Just got a couple more pieces to get here on the floor. Nothing on the floor is screwed down. I just notched that out. But we've got these cross beams screwed down, screwed in there. And up here. Walk up front here. So this is kind of the update. We have to frame in the top there too, but right now we're working on the floor. And then next we'll be working on the seat, which is going to be right here. So, You want to say anything? Not much. Okay. Coming together. Good. So I think it's quitting time. It's about a quarter after seven, but pretty good for a day's work. We got, um, we didn't put the floor down yet. We're going to have to do that. We're going to take some of this apart still, but um, we got this cross beam up here together, two by six and four for the doors. And these will need to be trimmed. We'll take a, this has to go from center down to a curve to the end here. So we'll have to take some off of that. I don't know if I'll do it with the belt sander or if I'll just do it with the, uh, saws all or, or what. We have to get the glue lambs next. That's the one thing we decided to use instead of normal wood because of the big curve. I can't see how, well there's a reason why there's only four of these things that exist since original. <laughs> and that's because uh, 
They split out. They split out, yeah, the wood does. So we're going to use the glue lambs on there. That's the one modern piece of wood we're going to use, I guess. So what we did then now is we did the seat. Here's the front seat. We're going to pad all this and obviously. Well, this will. we got no room over here. <laughs> there we go. Here, and it fits pretty good for me. You know, that's one of the complaints about tees that you can't fit in them. Well, if you're building it from scratch, why not make it so it's somewhat comfortable? Here, I've got plenty of room. I need to get a 12 by 12 for the bottom. And then what, it'll, it'll hinge up. 12 by 12. I mean, it, yeah, 12 by 12. 2 by 12. Yeah, 2 by 12. And then this will hinge up. So we can put be as wide as this, kind of like this one here. So we can put tools and stuff in there if we need to. And then because we're using we this as this a bench. literature cart, uh, we wanted to make this a little bit different, or, or a little bit different in having a chair back here, so that way you can still sit back here. Obviously, you won't get in this way, but you can sit back here. Easy access to both sides. It's somewhat comfortable. Uh, I imagine we'll use this at rest areas and car shows and, and whatever else. And then, make, like I mentioned, the door will fold down here and have a display, and then this will fold up and be a sign. So that's sort of the plan. And we'll make the doors out of two by sixes all the way around, and then we'll just shape the two by sixes for our ovals. The for the windows. Yeah, for the windows. When I say doors. And we got to figure out some kind of stairs or something because that's quite a leap to get up there. I mean, I'm using a crate to get up there. It would be really neat to have something that folds down that will fold back up into it. I don't know how or what. Or it would have to be a pretty hefty hinge, too. Yeah. Because people are going to be walking on it. Yeah, it's totally possible, but, you know. We'll come up with something, but I was thinking it would be so cute if we could figure out, show them that cast piece behind you. There's just no way to make... Um, like stairs out of that. I don't know if you can see that. You know, there's crappy in here. It's got, it's plenty ornate, and this is a side to an antique desk at yeah. school. The problem is, is that I can't weld on cast iron and get it strong enough to where you could walk on it. I mean, I can weld it. Don't get me wrong, and it'll stay. But uh, as soon as you start walking on it, it's it so impure. Yeah, I was, I was thinking something like this. That'd be super cute. It would fold right up into. I'm sorry cabin and that's where it would sit until you wanted to use it. Of course that does utilize, that messes up the fact that you, you're not going to use it for anything else then. You know I suppose what I could do is stick something like this on the side and then build my own interior steel bracketry that would hold it up. I don't know. Yeah I don't I know, know either. It would be from the outside, but. Lighting's crappy, sorry guys. It's getting late. So we're going to go home and have dinner and get ready for our meeting tomorrow and our service week. Tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. So we will keep you informed as far as the next time. We, we're going to Grand Forks early next week to pick up the rest of the materials, the glue lambs and everything else we need. Sheet metal, all that. So, so we got our materials for the Model T, the seat cab parts, and we got the metal and... So this is sort of the idea with the glue lamp. Now that's set up here. I'm going to go over here and take a peek at it from a distance. And we just basically took it and sketched out what we want for the C cab. But it goes all the way back there. You can kind of see the snap line, but we just sketched a couple of lines on there until we figured out something we want, and then we kind of went over it with permanent marker. And... Uh, that's going to be the line it'll follow right there. So now we got to pull it off of there and chop it off. So there's step one. And all I did is I cut that out with a sawzall. Now we tried to go with a pretty true C. I was wondering if that was going to be a little bit too far back. But, you know, uh, that C right about here was supposed to end at the steering wheel or just barely cut off the edge of it if you're looking straight sideways. And that's just about right. And uh, this is coming up right underneath the where the column meets the wheel, which is where we wanted. So... Um, I'm thinking it's pretty good and also you know you've seen some where the C is more uh, oval like this we wanted a true C in there so it would really have that uh, kind of an older classic look I felt I felt I've seen some of them they look, don't get me wrong they look good where they came up and then they dove down a little shallower in this section right here and it you know kind of made them look more hot rod-esque 
but uh, this obviously isn't the direction we're going with this. So uh, I think that'll end up working just about perfect. So uh, I decided to cut it right on there and it, it worked out all right. Uh, now we'll zip the top off and I'm going to try to do that with a skill saw at least along the back half where it's straight. And uh, we've got it at an angle. So that way it angles, you know, like this on the back, you know, uh, on that back side right here all the way along because the, there's an arc that goes along the rear and we'll show you that later but uh, we'll zip that along there and you know if I can keep that rolling up with the skill saw around this corner right here well all the better but I don't know that we'll be able to do that but we'll see what happens okay so I just got it sitting on the back of the trailer here I took it off uh, the long side and we're got them C clamped together there or bar clamped I guess and uh, now we're sanding the edges. You can kind of see the taper. Well, I don't know if you can or not. You can see the taper on each side. And I already belt sanded that underneath there to where it's all smooth and they're even on both sides. It doesn't have to be rocket science, but it should be close. And now we'll do the top here and get that all done and try to keep the V pretty much similar all the way along. So here it is all sanded down. It's not absolutely perfect. We get up here at the top, it starts to flatten out a little bit. But uh, that shouldn't be the end of the world. It's not rocket science and or brain surgery. Nobody's going to die from it. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Like I say, they're about, it's going to be covered with fabric and it's about four feet apart. Anyway. But it should be pretty close. So now we'll uh, unclamp them and screw them back onto the side of the T. Okay, so we've got it all installed and sanded. These uh, end pieces now are done. And also, yeah, you can barely see it with the light shining against it, but that one's also sanded and curved. And so we've got the rest of them. Over here, all lined up, they're cut, and we'll do the same thing with the belt sander and even all those all up and install them. But what I thought I was going to have to do is shave the whole 2x4 down, but by the time we'd put the curve on it, and uh, it turned out pretty even. So that was pretty good little bonus. Let's take a look at it from over here on the other side. Get that side view. I can't really tell from here, but I'm not unpleased with that at all. I just didn't want it to have the wrong shape. If you get them the wrong shape, they look kind of silly, if you ask me. And it's just a personal preference thing, I guess, but I think that'll look pretty good. So tomorrow, we'll start cladding it up. I've got the metal out there. We'll need to start cutting that up. And then we'll start cladding it on the outside. Not too bad for a short day. If you wonder where Tiffany is, she wasn't feeling very well at, uh, I guess, our lunch. Our lunch is about 4 because we don't roll out of bed. We didn't get down here till 1, but I think it's about 9 o'clock now, 9.30. But that's the way it usually rolls for us. 